Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for the end of day Monday's trading, the 1st of August 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European price action, let's have a look, folks. Uh, the uh, European markets all finished red, okay, even though we had the Shanghai. Uh, oh, negative, which obviously would indicate a negative reaction to the Chinese economic data out overnight, which I'll come on to later on. Uh, we had the Nikkei higher, the Hang Seng higher, and it was Shanghai that was certainly red. Okay, so the FTSE certainly finished weak, exceptionally weak. The DAX finished weak. The, the CAC finished weak as well. Okay. Now, why did they finish weak? Okay, good question. Initially, we had the uh, S&P 500 and NASDAQ making new highs, okay, uh, overnight on the back of uh, whether you want to put it down to weak GDP data on Friday and the interpretation from that was that the Fed would remain dovish for longer. Therefore, that was considered bullish, even though the USD JPY dropped back down to the 102 level and everybody had dis been disappointed from the BOJ's move. So... Again, it's certainly a, a real conundrum, okay? We had weak economic data out of the Eurozone on Friday, uh, and then this morning we certainly had a... Uh, numbers were more or less in line, okay? Nothing of a major concern. Uh, it was only Italy and Spain that was certainly of concern. It was mainly the uh, German uh, PMI, uh, manufacturing PMI, that certainly came out um, above expectations to a large extent, okay? We had the PMI for July certainly coming in better than expected, so both numbers more or less better than expected. You have the French coming in line. Okay, Eurozone certainly are coming in slightly better than expected as well. It was a UK, Italian and and um, and Spanish, certainly numbers that came in weaker. Okay, we had the uh, US data come out as well. Uh, market PMI came in more or less in line. ISM PMI came in slightly weaker. Okay, ISM prices paid certainly came in weaker construction spending came in weaker that's one of the reasons why the dollar was certainly sent lower okay now the overriding uh, bearish factor really from the markets was number one uh, oil dropping down to 39 dollars testing that 39 dollar level i bring up the chart of oil for you we are now potentially into gap fill support on oil if i bring up the chart of crude oil here okay so crude oil on the uh, daily chart you are looking at a potential gap fill here at uh, 40.6 and then obviously we dipped lower now to 39.8 and you have gap fill support at 39.2 so oil certainly is in a potentially a support zone okay that's the uh, most important thing here okay so oil certainly is into support usd card is potentially into resistance and you are looking at a potential bottom in oil which in turn will help the FTSE 100 move higher as well okay so that certainly is the um, the overriding factor there okay stress test results from the uh, banking sector uh, now again, that was certainly a negative factor. If I bring up the FTSE banking sector for you, give you an insight here. FTSE banks daily chart, certainly a red candle, 60-minute chart, certainly indicating weakness, uh, testing that uh, previous high again, and certainly moving lower. European stocks again were mainly one of the uh, weakest uh, as well, and that's mainly due to the banking sector as well. If I bring up a 60-minute chart, you clearly see the chart certainly moving lower and closing that gap below. Okay, so certainly into gap fill support on the euro stocks or euro. European indices. Okay, so again, certainly one of their major uh, weaker points today. Again, you can see here the German banking sector as well under pressure. Okay, certainly um, topping out and then reversing to the downside. Okay, right. Okay, folks. So that certainly seems to be a factor, and obviously a delayed reaction to the BOJ as well, given the fact that USD JPY back at 102. So where exactly do we stand now from a technical perspective? Okay, so the German DAX finished bearish. Okay, bearish engulfing candle at gap fill resistance. The rally has been spe quite spectacular. The 10 minute chart certainly closed the gap at uh, the uh, 10350 or 10340 zone and then went to close the gap below again at 10275. So, certainly very weak. Currently, on the futures market, we're still uh, languishing around that 10290 zone. Okay, with 10270, 10280 being support. 60 minute chart, German DAX again, a potential here for a HS formation. So, just bear that in mind, be open minded. Okay, so certainly watch out for that potential HS formation forming. But for now, given the fact that NASDAQ still remains more or less, uh, well, although it has shown signs of vulnerability and shown signs of weakness, just bear that in mind. Okay, so again, looking at that pattern going into tomorrow. Okay, so go, looking at the French CAC now. Okay, so bringing up the French CAC on the daily chart, you can clearly see a bearish engulfing candle. 
So that certainly will be dictating price action. 60 minute chart. Really, it's a gut fill support for now. Okay, so you are looking at 4390 support on the French CAC and looking for a potential bounce. Okay, bringing up the chart of the FTSE. FTSE daily chart, potential topping tail. Again, certainly something to consider. Again, it's just been consolidating sideways, really. more Now, the, the most important factor is, the fa is oil. Even the fact that oil is now potentially into support, you are looking for a potential thrust higher on oil as well. So given the fact that we're holding support at this 6690 zone, looking to potentially retest that 6740, 6730, 6750 zone above again. Okay, so again, certainly take that into consideration. 10 minute chart, or you are looking at resistance at 6730 up to 6770. Given the fact that we had a pivot high at 6770 this morning, and then obviously we flushed down to that 6680 zone, certainly something, uh, uh, certainly some food for thought, okay, the FTSE certainly flushed in the back of week of oil, okay, also Chinese data as well, certainly came out stronger overnight, so again, certainly something to ponder over, okay, <coughs> excuse me, okay, now let's look at the euro stocks, let's see how that's faring, Okay, so daily chart, euro stocks, you've got diagonal trend line, certainly into resistance, uh, bearish continuation. <coughs> Excuse me, bearish continuation pattern to finish the day. The 60 minute chart at the moment, you are into gap fill support. Obviously, if you flush lower, then you are looking at support at 2,950. So, watch out for 2,950. My stop loss is at 2,949, if I can recollect correctly. So, again, I'll be stopped out, and then the next potential gap fill target will be 2,930. So, bear that in mind. The 60-minute chart certainly a, 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 an impressive uh, topping tail on the euro stocks so certainly flushed lower. 10-minute chart again you are looking at a potential inverted head and shoulders formation going into the close. So I'm looking for a potential pop higher on the uh, euro stocks and that's one of the reasons why I'm actually bullish. You can certainly see we close a gap below certainly acting as support and now looking for a potential reversal on the euro stocks given the uh, selling certainly is overdone. And the US market certainly didn't sell, sell off anywhere near as much as the European equities. A pop higher here from 2960 to 2975. You're looking at 2990 above, okay? So 2990, look for 2990 resistance on the euro stocks. Okay, look for weakness there. Right, okay, so I think that's a summation run really of uh, European indices. Again, German DAX really is into gap fill support. Okay, so certainly look for a bounce on the German DAX. But having said that, look for that, keep an eye on that potential right shoulder as well for the HS formation given the unfilled gap that we've got at 9980. So certainly showing some vulnerabilities here on European indices, also some vulnerabilities in US indices as well. So certainly keep an eye on that. Again, uh, price action news will certainly dictate. Um, the biggest onus really, or the biggest focus really, should be in oil given the fact that you are into gap filled support. Uh, a rally in oil generally indicates a rally in equities, mainly the um, commodity related ones. Okay, on that note, good night and goodbye. And uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com and certainly take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye. Now.